go. Okay guys, so today I'm actually gonna be showing you the setup that I have been working on for quite some time. This is my true NAS setup. Um, it's running true NAS scale. So this is in my kitchen right now. This is um, a monitor and a keyboard that I have hooked up to um, the old HP computer that Mr. Pettis had given us through PC hardware. So as you can see here, um, this is what it looks like once it boots up. This is the machine itself. And then I'm gonna go ahead and show you the back of the computer right here. So as you can see here on the back of the computer, I have the power connection right here. This connection right here, this is gonna be for the keyboard input. This is my ethernet connection down here. So this is where the internet goes in. And then right here, I have a graphics card installed and this is the HDMI port that's going to the monitor. So the monitor actually is hooked up with HDMI, not VGA. Okay, and now I'm actually gonna go ahead and show you the inside of the computer and how I have it configured. So once I get this open right here, so this first shot right here, you can see right here, this is my graphics card that I have installed. Um, this graphics card I actually purchased somewhere else so this is what's running the HDMI port. It's connected up to the PCIe slot. Okay, and then now if you look right here, you can see all the connections for the hard drives. So um, this connection right here, this is a one terabyte hard drive. Right up here, up top, this is another one terabyte hard drive. And this is another one terabyte hard drive right here. So there's three and then right here so this is my 500 gig hard drive this one is actually what's running the boot process for the true NAS so the true NAS is put on the 500 gigabyte hard drive okay and you can see here this is what the 500 gigabyte hard drive looks like this is what's running the boot process okay. and this is what the one terabyte hard drives look like it's three one terabyte NAS hard drives so they're all set up in a ZFS array, which is that's what I'm gonna go over here in just a little while. Okay, so you may be asking yourself, well, okay, well, what exactly did you do all of this work for and build this home NAS or server or whatever you wanna call it? Well, the whole purpose of why I did it, I can show you right here, is basically I can go into this PC and as you can see right here, this is my actual boot drive that's inside of my laptop. So I have 124 gigabytes free of 237. Well, I don't like how full this is and I always get worried. So basically the point of having a NAS at home or a server is for additional storage. So I set up those three hard drives into a ZFS array which you can see here, all three combined, I have 1.36 terabytes free of 1.45 terabytes. So the good news is, is if I'm at home, I can sit here and I can open up this backup. I created a directory for my girlfriend, a directory for myself, so I can go in here and open up my files. Once I'm in here, this is pretty much like all the stuff that I have backed up to my home NAS. So I have my ISO images right here with all my different ISOs that I like to use. I also have um, a lot of personal information like, you know, my bank account, stuff like that that Mr. Pettis always says all the time. Um, I do have a photo backup, so I can actually go into my photo backup, as you can see here, and I can go into Tim's photos. I actually have my photos categorized per year. So I can click on the year and it will view pretty much every photo I have taken for that year. I have roughly about a thousand photos per file. Okay, and then also I have a lot of like the school stuff and things that I do as far as video editing and virtual machines. Pretty much really anything that I want backed up or anything that you want backed up, you can basically put it onto your NAS and it's accessible right here on your PC. So that's pretty much the number one reason why I wanted to do this. Now I'm gonna go into showing you what the NAS actually looks like. Okay, so now basically to get into my NAS, what I do is I have to be on my home network. I actually can't do this um, yet outside of my home network. There are ways to do it, but it's just a process that I just have not done yet. 
So right now on my home network, you can just open up a network browser um, like Google Chrome, anything like that. And you can just come to the address bar and you can just type in your address. So it's 192.168.047. And you can see here it says TrueNAS scale and the username setup is going to be root and then the password that I created. Okay. Once you get greeted with true net scale, you can see here that um, this is basically all of my standard information. Um, you can see here the system information, like the version and everything like that, my uptime. Um, right here you can see the CPU usage, um, how the CPU is running. You come down here, this is the RAM. So you can see here it's reading out that I have 11.7 gigabytes total available. Um, right now I have 7 gigs free. Um, it's running about three gigs worth of the services so you can also see here this is the storage area so this is my ZFS pool um, that I'm gonna go over in just a minute so this is the ZFS pool you can see that it's online I've used 22 percent of the ZFS pool um, let's see here and also I have 1.37 terabytes free I have a total of three disks and you come down here you can see this is the Pandora's, I named it Pandora's box, three total disks, use space one two. Uh, but yeah, basically this is everything. There's some network information right here. Uh, but pretty much you set this up as a NAS for your storage. You can also come over here to storage. This is my breakdown of the ZFS pool I have. So you can see here, I can go to disks. These are my four disks that I have installed. So this is the roughly 500 gigabyte. This is the boot drive, which is labeled as boot pool. And then these are the three one terabyte drives that I have installed that I showed you earlier. Okay, so um, right here, this is gonna be my pool status of the storage. So you can see here, um, I'm underneath the RAID Z1. So this is the three hard drives that are connected. You can see the statistics of the hard drives. Um, basically what RAID Z1 is, is basically it's ZFS's version of a RAID 5. Um, it basically means that you have one at fault hard drive that you can have, or basically one hard drive that can basically die on you and you won't lose any data. So there's RAID Z1, RAID Z2, and RAID Z3. Um, basically the number at the end basically means how many hard drives you can lose before you lose any data. So I have set up a RAID Z1 so I can lose only one of these hard drives and replace it and still have all of my data. That's pretty much how I have it set up right now. Um, I do have four of these one terabyte hard drives so if one of these does fail I do have a backup ready to go. And then I'm also going to show you now what the other purpose of using the TrueNAS is for. Uh, pretty much the other purpose of why I have it is because I have it for virtual machines. So you can see here that I have been messing a little bit with virtual machines. I have them named after the Harry Potter characters. Um, I am working on a data transfer right now. This is basically just an ESXi server. But I do have Harry right here running Windows 10. I have Ron running Slacks. And then I have Voldemort down here running my Kali Linux. Um, I can go ahead and fire on Ron real fast just so I can show you what the VMs look like. Once they're turned on, you can just click on them and you can click over here down to display. Takes you into another window. Um, you can see here now it's firing up my Slacks VM. Um, this is running on no VNC. All right, so now as you can see, so now I'm booting into Slack, so I can click this arrow over here, go into a full screen, and I can basically just click around and use Slacks as I want. So that's my VMs. Okay, so that concludes pretty much my presentation of TrueNAS Scale and pretty much what I've been working on for the past couple days now. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed my presentation.